what's up? What it do, cyber world? It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. Nearly half a million streams worldwide. Thank you all for your love, your support, your devotion. It makes a difference and it continues to make a difference. And so on and so forth. The Ash Said It Daily podcast show has changed my life and I will never be the same. So I thank each and every one of you for your support your love, your shares, your listening to the show and posting it places and sharing it with your loved ones, it makes a difference. So I really, 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 really thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to talk about something today that has been in recent headlines in the news. It's been trending here and there on social and it's sexual harassment. People like to think that maybe it doesn't exist or doesn't happen anymore. I'm here to tell you that sexual harassment happens and it continues to happen and for women more times than none we're put in a situation where we are somewhat shamed or shunned to speak up and out about it because of fear of losing a job or not getting a part or losing an affiliation or whatever the case may be but there's always that mixed review of if you say something it's going to cost you something and it's just a reality. For me, probably the most notable ones in recent years happened when I was joining the military. And one of my recruiters actually um, was very suggestive with me. And when I say that, basically, I, when I was going through my recruitment process, I was literally hanging on by a thread. I spent the majority of my time at the hospital with my mom, who was in ICU at the time, and going back and forth for training with the service, and then back at the hospital. That that was my life. I went home, I showered, I went to bed, I woke up early, I did my early morning routine in the park, I head to the hospital, back to the military station, and then back to the hospital, and that was my routine. So... I didn't have much time to do really much of anything. And I had to take a separate session from the rest of the recruits because things were just crazy and they were trying to make sure that I was getting in my exercise and I was getting in the right routines and the, you know, sit-ups, push-ups and all that good stuff. So they had to somewhat monitor me, I guess you could say. And one of my recruiters at the time, uh, after I did my sets and my session and everything, and I thought that I did pretty decent or whatever the case is he suggested to me that oh well you're all sweaty and stuff you should just come by my apartment and take a shower wow how inappropriate and I didn't want to create a scene I didn't want to create a situation a hostile environment because this person was essentially in charge of putting me into the military And meanwhile, I'm going through so much emotionally. I just didn't know how to react to it, but to just turn a blind eye to it. That's just the reality of it. I just knew to, you know what, let me just pretend he didn't just say that. Let me just pretend that that wasn't real, but it was very real. And in that particular situation, it made it an awkward environment to where I didn't go to that person for questions or anything else after that because that made me very uncomfortable and I just did not like um, the way that was presented to me and it was completely and totally inappropriate and that just goes to show sexual harassment does not have to be someone actually putting their hands on you it could be someone making you feel uncomfortable in the situation that they should not be doing and they know that they're not supposed to and so he said it and then he kind of laughed it off because my face probably he could read it off my face like WTF what did I just do and I just left it at that and I didn't speak a word of it until after I was in the service I spoke to my other superior about it and um, it really there wasn't nothing that they could do they had suspicions that he was hitting on recruits and being inappropriate with a lot of the female recruits but nothing could be proven blase blase slap on the wrist nothing's gonna happen until there is an assault or something of that nature there really wasn't anything that they could do 
that's just point blank period but it just it happens it happens more times I know that it's happened to me on a multitude of times I've been made to feel uncomfortable in job settings when I've worked retail and I've had a supervisor that was male and they would say things just disgusting things to me around me and it there's nothing that you can do what are you going to do you're going to speak up and lose your job no I mean you're just gonna have to chuck it up unfortunately and so when people say oh well you know you waited too long to speak up and say something you know what I applaud anyone man or woman that can speak up against sexual harassment because a lot of times it's a sticky situation it's a sticky situation to where a lot is in question and then to have proof it's your word against theirs so I applaud anyone that can that can speak up against it because it's not a it's not an easy thing to do especially if you're in a situation where it's a work situation and your money's on the line it's like okay what am I gonna do in that situation yeah you don't want to be silent however you may not have much of a choice that's just the that's the reality of it and until we change how things are done until we change how these situations are handled that's what it's going to be unfortunately so i would love to hear some of your perspectives on this you can always at me at one love ash excuse me at me mention me <laughs> you can mention me at one love ash the number one love ash or you can shoot me an email info at ashsetta.com you can also comment on this podcast post and leave your comments your questions your concerns all for your girl I definitely want to hear about it I know that I'm not the only female that's dealt with it in the workplace that is just one example that just off the top of my head people think oh well it's the military nothing bad happens in the military nothing. a lot happens in the military a lot just a lot of it is not spoken about a lot of it is not put in the forefront but it happens. It definitely happens. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. Because that's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice. It's cool. It's fun. But real life is so much better, baby. It's so much better. When you continue to push forward, the fruits of your labor are going to be so sweet. They're going to be ripe. They're going to be on time. I kid you not. I'm living proof. Keep pushing forward, peeps. I love y'all.